Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel has some of the best anime decks of all time. You guys already know from the original Duel Monsters, I've covered Dark Magicians. And of course, my favorite deck, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Whoa! Are these the baby blue white lightning sleeves? Would you guys get a TS1.com? You know what I'm saying? Limited stock, baby blue sleeves. This is just the first run. Best sleeves in the entire world. White lightning. Today, we're going to be unlocking the power of the Inferno Fire Blast. And in today's video, we're going to showcase a new, well, new to me. We have an FTK combo. First turn kill with Red Eye. Consistent. And number two, if you don't have the FTK, you set up an unbreakable board, which brings out Red Eye's player. Metal Dragon. Burn, 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 burn. GG's no reach. Shake my hand. Especially in this format, if you can establish at least two Red Eye's player Metal Dragons against the Snake Eyes deck, they can no longer activate eight cards, and then they lose the duel. This deck is absolutely insane. In today's video, I'm going to showcase you guys the deck profile, the combos, and we're going to hop into Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Ranked to send all opponents to the Shadow Realm with a brand new Red Eyes deck for 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, before we begin, I want you guys to like this video. Let's aim for 3,000 plus likes and comment in the comment section below what other anime decks or other challenges you guys want to see next on this channel. I love to hear your feedback. Your feedback does not go unnoticed. Mash! Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Left thumbs up button. More awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And of course, happy Wednesday! Ladies and gents, let's get started with the deck profile real quick. Right here. Yes, it has a bunch of Kashiras, has a bunch of red eyes. It's kind of like a semi Dragon Link, Kashira, red eyes. You know what I'm saying? The main premise is get access to red eyes. All right. If you open up with Black Metal Dragon with Inferno Fire Blast, uh, you basically win the game. If, if you guys do not know what Inferno Fire Blast does, <laughs> God damn! Target one Red Eyes Black Dragon in your monster zone. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to the original attack on that Red Eyes Black Dragon. Red Eyes Black Dragon cannot attack turn you activate this effect. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you can't attack. You're going to be activating your opponent. This card, you want to try to summon a Meteor Black Comet Dragon to your side of the field using Predator Plant Bird Anaconda. This card is banned in TCG, obviously, but we have access to this in, the, uh, in Master Duel. You want to make Verde Anaconda send Red Eyes Fusion. And Red Eyes Fusion, when you summon any monster using this card, the monster's name becomes Red Eyes Black Dragon on the field. So, Meteor Black Comet Dragon, you want to summon it using Predator Plant Bird Anaconda. And then use Infernal Fire Blast because this card's name is Red Eyes Black Dragon to inflict 3,500 damage to your opponent. When this card is summoned, you can send one Red Eyes monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard if you do inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the original attack of that monster. When it's summoned, you're going to be sending Red Eyes Black Mew Dragon to the graveyard to inflict 1,000 damage. So this puts your opponent at 7,000 damage. All right. Activate Infernal Fire Blast, dealing 3,500 damage to your opponent, putting your opponent at 3,500. Then you have cards like Red Eye Spirit to revive back Red Eye Soul. This is the new card. This card name is called Red Eye's Black Dragon while on the field in the graveyard. If your opponent's special is a monster, you can send this card from your hand field to the graveyard. Special Red Eye's monster from your hand or deck. This effect doesn't really come up. You want to send this card to the graveyard. What this does is that quick effect, you can try Red Eye's Black Dragon you control. Inflict damage to your opponent equals to that monster's original attack. So this is a Red Eye's Black Dragon. When you revive it from the graveyard using Red Eye Spirit, you target the Red Eye's Black Dragon, aka Meteor Black Comet Dragon, to inflict another 3,500 damage to your opponent. So 1,000 off, uh, of course, the, this card's send effect, and 7,000 off um, Infernal Fire Blast, 3,500, and Red Eye Soul is another Infernal Fire Blast. So that's 8,000 damage on the very first turn with a two card combo, which I'll showcase you guys in a second. So that's the entire goal of this deck, is try to set up the two card combo. And if you don't want the two-card combo, it's okay. You just go to Galaxy Tomahawk. That's so you're playing a bunch of level sevens. And you're just link climbing, just capping to your opponent. Go Skull Dread. Draw four. Hopefully, you draw into Infernal Fire Blast. If you don't, you still set up with, like, you know, Skull Dread, Meteor Black Comet, two red eyes, hand traps. And then you force your opponent to play into your red eyes flare metal dragon to try to burn you. And, and then they have to, and then they lose because they can't activate more than, than seven cards. And then they lose a duel, right? while having like Fenrir or Unicorn on the field as well for additional disruptions alongside, you know, Max Seas and Ash in your opening hand. So this is the deck list right here. Try the deck out for yourself. This deck is actually insanity. Ladies and gents, let's get started with the combo real quick. Let's get it. So, all right, ladies and gents, I'm going to showcase you guys two important combos when it comes to utilizing this brand new Red Eyes deck. The entire goal with this deck is to FTK your opponent on the very first turn. And it just requires two card combo. All you need is to draw Infernal Fire Blast, which you're playing three copies of in the deck, as you guys saw in the profile, and also any way to get into Black Metal Dragon. So you can hard draw it. It's a two card combo. Black Metal Dragon with Infernal Fire Blast, it's game. One for one is essentially a fourth copy of Black Metal Dragon as well. So first and foremost, we're just going to pretend this is a Black Metal Dragon, all right? We're just going to ditch Max. C. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to special summon, of course, Black Metal Dragon directly from the deck. Just pretend like we normal summon it as well. And all we got to do is go into Striker Dragon. Once you go into Striker Dragon, 
All right, it's insane. Uh, activate, of course, uh, Black Metal Dragon's ability. We are going to search the Red Eyes Darkest Metal directly from the deck to the hand. And now what we do next is I'm going to activate Red Eyes Darkest Metal by banishing the Striker Dragon here. Summon, of course, Red Eyes Darkest Metal. And then we'll use Red Eyes Darkest Metal's ability to basically special back the Black Metal Dragon from the graveyard. And now using these two cards right here, we are going to make Predator Plan for the Anaconda. And this is just simple. If, you're if you know your opponent has no hand traps, this is the combo that you're trying to achieve, basically. You're trying to achieve something like this. Now we're going to use Black Metal Dragon's ability. We are going to search the Red Eyes Insight. All right. And now we're going to activate Red Eyes Insight right here. We are going to send uh, the Red Eyes Soul, which is really important. And also, uh, send, our, yeah, send Red Eyes Soul. Tad Red Eyes Spirit. This card is the monster born for the deck. It borns back any Red Eyes monster. And now what's going to happen next is that we're going to activate your Predator Plant for the Anaconda's ability. All right. We're going to pay 2k. All right. We're going to activate... Uh, Send Red Eyes Fusion. We're going to summon the Meteor Common Dragon. We're going to send, of course, the Red Eyes Black Meteor and the Red Eyes Black Dragon. Doesn't matter. You usually need to deal 1,000 damage to your opponent. That's all you got to do. And remember, it deals half to the cards that you sent, right? So you want to summon this. Okay. Now you want to activate this card's effect. You can send one Red Eyes directly from the deck to the grave. So you can send this. And it's 2,000. So it'll deal 1,000 to your opponent. So deal rack. Cool. And now we're going to activate Infernal Fire Blast. Target Red Eyes Black Dragon in the Monster Zone. Like damage your point equals the attack of that Red Eyes Black Dragon. So we're going to activate, you know, Infernal Fire Blast. Target this. 3,500 to your opponent. Your opponent's at 35. And it's because of the brand new card Red Eyes Soul. Whenever this card is special summoned, it has the ability where it reads, you can target one Black Dragon control flick damage your opponent to that monster's original attack. So this card's amazing. So once per turn, it's quick effect too as well, which is insane, right? Uh, so we set this. And now we end our turn. Two card combo. On your opponent's draw phase. Okay, we activate Red Eye Spirit. Target, of course, Red Eye Soul that's in the grave. From itself. And now we activate Red Eye Soul's ability. Okay, to target this. And deal 3,500. So that's a two card combo, literally. Literally, guys, because of Red Eye Soul. So now the question is what happens if we don't draw this combo? Let's do like a random test hand so you guys can, can understand how this combo works. And mostly, like, you're, you're going to be freestyling most of the time. Just freestyle with your hands, you know what I'm saying? And the deck focuses on Tomahawk and Saruja and draw cards. Try to basically draw your entire deck to see your combo plays and turn Turner Fire Blast, right? So, let's go on with a test hand real quick. All right, well, ladies and gents, what happens when you don't draw the Infernal Fire Blast, all right? What if you draw the Black Metal Dragon but no Infernal Fire Blast? Well, let me showcase you guys on how you can, you know, test hand with this deck right here. And I want you guys to understand one thing with this deck. If you don't open up with the FTK, you have a chance to get into the FTK. And the main premise of this combo is you need to try to get access to Galaxy Tomahawk. Find a way to get two level sevens on the board, and then you have Tomahawk, then you have Skulldred, then you can eventually draw a bunch of cards. Ready, guys? Without further ado, what can you do with this hand? So you have two level sevens on the board. You know that you can get access to Tomahawk uh, with this hand right here. And I'll showcase you guys how. So first and foremost, we're going to normal summon this. All right, we're going to... Big, uh, okay, Striker Dragon. Look, this is two ways. This is a two-card combo, though. I'll show you this. It's like this with Ascendant is still a two-card combo, right? We activate this. Uh, we are going to search Red Eyes Darkest Metal. Right here. All right. And then we get to go this. This might not get us the FTK with Inferno Fire Blast, all right? Uh, but it can help us set up an Unbreakable Red Eyes board. So we use this effect. Uh, we're going to summon, of course, Black Thunder Dragon. And use these two. We're gonna make Romulus here. Usually, in this case, if we have another level seven, we will not search the Red Eyes Meteor Dragon. But in this situation, we have to search the Meteor Dragon. So we activate Romulus one, uh, Black Metal Dragon two. Okay, because we do want to get access to our uh, uh, Dragon Ravine, right? So this will search this, the Black Meteor Dragon, which is really important. And also, this searches Dragon Ravine. Now we have two level sevens on the field, right? Now we can activate this effect. Of course, send this. Uh, summon Black Meteor Dragon. Activate Ascendant of Thunder. Summon Ascendant of Thunder as well. You guys see where this is going, right? Now we have access to Tomahawk. Okay, now let's play. Now what are we doing? Now let's play, all right? So imagine, attach two. Now, now we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh, guys. One. Two. Three. Four. We convert one into Link Spider. Okay, this, this board is uh, unbelievable. Watch. We run into Link Spider. And then we use three to make Skull Dread. If Skull Dread gets stopped, that's okay. One, 
two, three, four. Now we draw four cards. Now we just like, now we just cr uh, craft our hand uh, in whichever way, shape, or form. We draw. It's amazing. We don't want to draw this, obviously. Uh, we want to have more extenders. So I'm just going to put this back. Oh, that was bad. I should have never put birth back. And I'll explain to you guys why you shouldn't put birth back because we can get access to Fenrir with his hand, which I'm going to showcase you guys right now. So let's put back cross out. It's okay. Uh, now we get to activate Dragon Ravine. Just imagine this gets stopped. We still have Dragon Ravine in our hand, right? We go Ravine. All right. Uh, we're going to send call by. Okay. Uh, we're going to send Destrudo to the grave. This is still a combo, guys. Now we can activate Destrudo to target one of the tokens. All right. Seven, of course, Destrudo. And then level one Destrudo with level one machine helps us make Beret. Beret is insane. All right, make Beret. And for this situation right here, what I do is I use Beret's effect to summon, of course, the Kyokuri monster from the deck. So what I do here is like, we can also go another Beret to summon the, uh, the other guy from the deck as well. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. I think Ancient Fairy Dragon is much better. Uh, so we'll Ancient Fairy Dragon here, summon this. And the reason why you do it is because you go Ancient Fairy Dragon. Uh, you can destroy the field spell to search Ray Souls, right? Uh, so destroy that. You add Ray Souls to your hand, right? And then we activate. The only bad thing about this 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 play is because, like, I'll, I'll showcase you guys. Okay, maybe we should have kept Cross on their hand. I, I I don't want to use this because we can't use it because of Birdie Anaconda. You know what I'm saying? For so this, yes, we get to add Fenrir. No, I think we have to add Unicorn now. Yeah, so we activate this. Summon back Unicorn here. Right, and then we use Unicorn's effect uh, at birth. Right, and then you want to use these two. You can also summon an, an extender, but I'm not going to do that. We just go with this. Go with this. Go with this. I'm supposed to summon it in, in this zone, by the way. Then we activate Red Eyes Flare Metal. Attach the, the unicorn, which is really important. Some of this, so you guys see where this is going, right? Like we're just trying to establish two red eyes clear metal, plus like infinite burn our opponent. So we just go with this. Yeah, we have to do this. Activate this. Send them back unicorn. We go with these two. To red eyes. Boost it up. Now your opponent can only activate eight cards. And now we go Birdie Anaconda with these two. Alright. We should have kept like called by or something. Now we activate this. Send a polymerization to the grave. We send this. We send souls and also this. Summon this. Okay. Hobby Dragon. Now we activate this effect. We just dump this, do a thousand. And now we just pass on this. The only downside is like if someone, yeah, you know, like we, we pass on like this with like a, uh, a hand traps or something like that. You know, and your opponent is like, they can only activate seven cards, right? And, and that's a lot. It adds up. It adds up. You know what I'm saying? It, it adds up a lot. They do this, right? Watch. Yeah, they have to try to play into it, right? Look at this. And you have to play into it. And that's a thousand. It's a thousand, right? More. That's another thousand. Another thousand. You know what I'm saying? Another thousand. Boom. Boom. Another thousand, right? Draw more. Another thousand. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they have to try to play into it. You know what I'm saying? So, this is what, like, you kind of want to set up with. Uh, you know, you still have maxis and stuff like that. But the only thing you got to be careful is, like, Verde Anaconda is really weak. So, it just depends on what your hand is. But you kind of want to get into a board like this if you don't open up an Inferno Fire Blast. But the entire goal, dig through your deck for Inferno Fire Blast. Try to FTK your opponent right away.
But that's pretty much for the two bread and butter combos you guys must know when it comes to playing this deck. Let's hop into Master Ranked and send all points to the Shadow Realm with Jolie Wheeler's Red Eyes. Let's begin. All right, ladies and gents, Master Ranked with Red Eyes. Yes, this deck is actually insane. You guys already saw the combo segment of this video. Two card FTKs, you know what I'm saying? This is, this is, this will get us to the FTK. This will get us, all right? So this is all I cap, all right? We're just gonna go like, we're just gonna cap to our opponents right now. We're just gonna do a bunch of different things so we can bait out some cards. All we gotta do is make Skull Dread and then we win the duel, all right? So we activate Unicorn here, whatever. Oh, yeah, see, it's all I cap. It's all I cap. This is all I cap, ladies and gents. We just need to get access. So now that his, 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 his Imperm is dead. His Imperm, you know what I'm saying? I want to put this back in my deck. Send it a Thunder. Send it a Thunder again. All we have to do is see Red Eyes Flare Metal, and this is game. You mean Black Metal Dragon in this game. And Imperm is dead. Imperm is dead. Yeah, well, you lose. Scoop. Usually when they see Tomahawk and they can't stop Tomahawk, they just scoop. You know what I'm saying? They, they just, it's, it's always like this. Let's do it, guys! Oh, this is... This can potentially get us combo. All right, let's, let's, just do, let's do a lot of capping here. Let's go. So we know, okay, so let's do Red Eyes Flare first. Let's go this. <laughs> let's go with this. All we have to do is see Infernal Fire Blast and win the, the game, all right? We activate this. Effect. If we don't see Infernal Fire Blast, it's 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 fine. This is still this is still combo, which you guys will see how crazy it is. So we're gonna search Red Eyes Flare right here. Red Eyes Darkest Metal. Mm, Roll here would would hurt. Okay, no. We go here and then we make Romulus. All right. So summon this. We activate this. Summon Black Black Metal. And we're just playing a bunch of extenders. Like, we need to extend a bunch of cards. You know what I'm saying? I'm in this. And then we search this. We search into Insight here. We go this. You guys will see, all right? So we're just trying to dig through our deck right now at the moment. So it would be Chainlink 1, Flare Metal, Black Metal Dragon, and Chainlink 2, Romulus, Sir Dragon Marine. You guys are just doing a bunch of capping right now, all right? We're just capping. That's fine. We, we wanted him to, to... Like, we wanted that to happen. You wanted that to happen. We had to go Romulus 2, uh, Black Metal 1. We're like, we need... Like, we're trying to go Infernal Fire Blast to game our opponent, right? So we have to search Red Eyes uh, Insight here. Amazing. And then what we get to do now is use Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon. Black Meteor Dragon. This can, this I can play through a bunch of hand traps as well. Uh, which is crazy. Summon this here. And then we uh, can go Ascend of Thunder here. Some of this. We're just capping at this point, guys. We're just trying to make Saruja. If he if he nibs here, it, it, it does it does kind of hurt. I'm not gonna cap if he nibs here. Shit. Oh. Alright. I feel like there's there is definitely a nib or imperm coming. Oh, he's definitely gonna nib here. All right. Definitely, I, I I do feel a nib incoming. Okay. One, two, three, four. We use these four. Make skull dread. I do feel a nib incoming though. Okay. Draw four. Wow. Holy smokes. So unfortunately, we didn't draw Infernal Fire Blast. So we got to do a bunch of other plays before we do that. So we need to... I think I'm dropping this. Dropping this. Putting this back in the deck. All right. Let's do a bunch of cat plays first. Okay. Let's do the, ber the beret line here. There is a nib coming for sure. Some of this. There is a nib coming for sure. 
Like we have to big brain our opponent like crazy right now because we we, we know Nib is coming. No nib now. This board is over. It's, it's definitely underwhelming, but we didn't get in front of Fire Blast. We got in front of Fire Blast. This would have been the game. So we send. Summon this. Damage. We have soul engrave. Activate this. We add Fenrir to our hand. I think it's pretty decent here. 36. Magnumwood here. We get to add. I think adding Drew's worm is better. I think adding Bow Drake is better. All right, guys. Now we just chilling, bro. You just gotta keep burning our opponent. You know. Whatever they try to activate, this keep keep burning, and we also got Mr. Baldrake in the graveyard. Hmm. Oh yeah, he loses. He's gonna lose this for sure. He's gonna lose this for sure. There's no way he's winning, bro. He he he, he loses for sure. Super Hammer has Samurai has to use so many card effects to, to try to actually just even do something. Like Red Eyes Flare Metal, like kills them. Okay. Let's do this. Banish Ascendant Thunder. Here. Now we can just tribute. Yeah, that's fine. Let him summon Regulus. That's fine. We'll keep burning. The last card we want to sue is summon Red Eye Soul. Mm. We have to bait this out. Sure. Now he he he. Now he only activate three cards. He's not winning, bro. He's not winning. He he didn't negate that. All right, you lost. This guy lost. He only has three cards left to activate. One. That's one. That's one. Regulus can't negate that. It's not an activation. Let's go. Activate another one. That's two. That's two. That's two. This, this is one of the thing about red eyes. Like, if they don't know what the deck does, you, they, they just don't know what the deck does. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just, it's impossible to beat. More burn damage. That's two. You want to use one more effects? Please, be my guest. Thank Baron. Sure. Doesn't matter. It can't be destroyed by card effects. It can't be destroyed by card effects. <laughs> Man, it's unstoppable. Come on now. Easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's go. Girth versus TXX1. Oh, guys, we keep getting lucky with the dice roll. Let me get a cap. I'm going second, like the deck, the deck does fine too. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, look, look what happened last game. We just passed. We still want with the Visceral, Max C's, and Ash, you know what I'm saying? Alright, let's see if we can FTK. FTK hand, please. FTK hand. This hand can potentially get us to the FTK hand. Potentially. 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 Alright, guys, here we go. This is two card combo. Kashtira, Black Metal Dragon is actually insane. So I'll show you guys this combo real quick. We do this. Alright, affect this. This is just like, this is a cap, alright? This is cap. We just cap on this. Uh, we search this. 
we, and we hold the ash just for their own max seat so we don't lose wow nothing here all right little striker striker here all right and then uh, we activate black metal uh we search for red eyes so we activate this some of this We need, we need a lot, another level 7 extender to be honest. Summon this. We can get a level 7 extender. We just make Romulus here. Okay. Alright. Uh, Romulus effect. So it'll be 1, 2. We're just trying to cap hard on this so we, uh, we can bait the Ash and Romulus, right? That's the entire goal. Like, we're just trying to set up in a way where we get to draw cards. So, like, we're, like, we're, try we're trying to draw into Infernal Fire Blast, basically. Okay, we just need to get access to this. All right, Amigo, activate this. Send this. Just dumping our entire grave. Summon this. And then we use these two into Tomahawk. And we're trying to make Saryuja. All right. You guys will see. Like, we're just... If if, if we don't open up FTK, we, we'll draw into FTK. One. Okay. Two. Three. Four. And then we make one Spider. All right. And then these three make Skuldred. All right, one, two. All right, are we hopefully drawn to everything? Raw, come on! Infernal Fire Blast would be insane. It's game. Game we drew Infernal Fire Blast. So one, two. There's only one unfortunate thing about this though. We don't we don't have another access to Black Metal Dragon, so we have to kind of like combo in a weird way. I think the best thing to do is activate this. We'll activate this. Someone dragon monster on the deck to the grave. So now we're just trying to make Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon climb, right? So I think the best thing to do is discard this. We're gonna dump the Strudo. And I wanna use Ascendant of Thunder first. So, so we only pay 2,500. Or the Strudo. I give it the Strudo. I get this. And we haven't even summoned off Skuldred yet. Okay, so we use these two to make Beret. Okay. Beret. And then Beret bring out. Like Beret. Bring out another man's here. The deck. And then we use these two to make ancient fairy. Alright. And then we use ancient fairy. Yes, we add this. We get Fenrir. Activate this. Get Fenrir. And we can use Skullrider to summon Fenrir too as another form of disruption. We go this. A nice flare here. Okay. Yep. And we use Red Ice Flare. Attach Beret, summon Red Eyes Flare, summon Red Eyes from the grave. Right. And we activate Saryuja. Summon Fenrir. And then Fenrir effect. Get the search. This. 
and then these two into another red eyes okay this is an ftk but you know because we we didn't draw the red eyes inside if we did it would have been crazy but unfortunately we did not do that but it's still pretty decent we can just go these two in here ready let me go with this activate this to arrive back in rear okay and then we activate this a 2k generalize fusion uh we'll summon this so we'll, i guess we can send this this summon this We just send this and we inflict damage. We a thousand. And we activate this. If we had two uh, in front of Fire Blast, this would have been game. We'd burn to 35. And then that's pretty much it. Now we just chill. Your opponent can only activate three cards. So they lose. Usually it's a two card combo, but it, sometimes it's hard to get. You know what I'm saying? Alpha Master of Beast. All right. Wow. Wow. 300 battle you You're gonna, you're gonna destroy. Attack to my Verde. God damn, Verde, bro. Verde's an attack. Hopefully he doesn't see this. Hopefully he doesn't see my life points at 1500. Hopefully. Nice. 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 Yeah, you play board breakers. Nice. You knew what I was playing. Good job for good for you. So ladies and gents, that duel was flipping wild. Oh my god. The the only card I, I like I, I like like the only way I lose, you know what I'm saying? Like summon a big beater attack over my predator plan. That's I guess. That was the only downside, but you know he bro, I put on you better I put on you can't activate three three or more cards. Like crazy. What is hand is so good. That is so good going second if maxi can resolve we literally win the entire duel ladies and gents here we go remember guys most of these times when you play a deck like this that like relies on cobbling off or like relying on draws with saruja if you don't open up with infernal fire blast it's more of a freestyle deck you know what i'm saying like you're trying to freestyle ways to try to get into your ftk like freestyle ways get your infernal fire blast etc etc you know what i'm saying Oh, which god damn! I not not playing talent. He sets the original. It's fine. You better have Ash, bro. You better have Ash, bro. You better have Ash. You better have Ash. That means he has no Ash in hand. Send for cost. He he definitely has something. Yeah. We can actually beat this. We can actually beat this. I'll show you guys. I don't think people are good with say guys to be honest yo we're just gonna save magnet for his uh for his uh for his ip and his game okay that means we, we we know he doesn't have an ash we know when there's no ash in his hand uh call by the grave is really good because you just call by the dragon uh, on his turn we got black more dragon which is one of the best starter cards for our plays I, I i think this hand is actually really good like really really good so he's gonna go uh say guy ash ash gets populous gets field it's fine now we just wait guys it's like like bestials are actually really good against this deck which you guys will see like how much will you guys not properly break a board because his hand is so good at board breaking you guys will even understand how how insane this hand is populous yeah that's fine even just like populusing the link Kribo as well like that's also huge yeah I'm, I'm, I'm gonna turn that off for now watch these guys don't know how to play this deck Watch. Best thing we we'll do field spell get oak. Tra sack ash and oak. Watch, but they're but they're he's gonna go link Rebo instead. Watch. He's gonna go link Rebo into into Populous. Watch. See? Put Flamberg there. Just gonna make Link Rebo. See? Right. This 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 what he's doing now loses to Bell. If I, if I had Bell, he would have lost. Yep. Populous spell trap. And he's gonna go this into oak. I don't like this play. This play is so bad. Zach Populous, yeah. Minogue. 
We just beat his one and only interruption, which is literally the IP Mascarino. People don't know how to play this. Watch. Best thing to do now, if he's a good player, he go Hita. He go Hita. Oh no, I don't have Ash. I have Maxi. Okay. If that was an Ash, he could go Hita. Hita take me. Apollo's and Celine. Apollo's the first. And then Oak, Psychop, Dragon. Some another level. Some dry another dragon from deck. Oak is gonna sack. Uh, and then Creepo in itself. It's a dragon. Wow. Yep. Use dragon. Boom. Bell. What happens now? What happens? I bell you. Bell. GG. Nice deck. Yep. Yep. Cool. I'm gonna show you guys how, how to beat this board. IP. Yep. IP. The baddie. She kind of bad there. Then go me princess. Then creep IP princess. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, and then we'll, we'll, we'll wait for Flamberg. See, Flamberg's gonna use the effect target IP, right? This game. Gonna play around so many things, bro. He could have made Appaloosa first, too. God damn. He could have made Appaloosa Celine. I would have lost. People, people don't know how to play this game like me. God dang, god dang. And then I get Drew's Worm. Oh my god, Drew's Worm is just ridiculous. Like Drew's is just insane. I'm gonna destroy this guy. Destroying is an understatement. I'm gonna FTK this guy, this dude. Yeah. Yeah, Princess is good. We also got called by the way, called by the game for Princess as well. So like, I don't think it's gonna be, you know, nothing's resolving, you know what I'm saying? He's got a red eyes player. Yeah, set one is probably, that's an imperm for sure. That's an imperm, you know that. This is gonna add the best card in our deck, which is going to be Drew's. Yo, let's go to Strudo. Let's search the Strudo, bro. Yeah, because we know that's an imperm for sure. Wow. Okay. Let's play with what we got right now. Let's go. Nope. Hmm. And this complicates things. Max EA. Oh, that's super poly, maybe. Let's just, go. Let's, let's just do it. Fine. We have to beat his follow-up, bro. Yeah, let's beat everything. Let's go. Let's let's normal summon this first. Okay. This. I think he has a princess. This. We have to kill him this turn, or else like I lose. Creepo too, so we okay. This needs to be a full lock. Yep. We have to go try to draw Infernal Fire Blast. We have to draw Infernal Fire Blast. Yep. I have to hope that's on an imprint, bro. Oh, I should have played Phoenix, man. It's fine. Let's bait for the I'm not gonna cut out the battle phase this turn. So we go with this. Switch the corn. You have to draw in front of our blast, ladies and gents. Probably a super poly, but he can't use it because Prince is on the field. Alright. 
Let's make. Might be here. Search red eyes. Insight. Okay, and I want to use insight. So we can. This. Add this. Nothing is do die here now. If we draw in front of fire blast, we win. Draw in front of fire blast, we win. Come on. Oh, we win. One. Yeah, we win the duel, guys. We draw in front of fire blast. search uh thing the best duel this is the, 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 what the best duel on my channel this you a thousand activate infernal fire blast target this you 35 exactly at 35 oh i, I oh i should have used birth first so i can find back unicorn but it doesn't even matter watch draw face can't even super pull anything bro spirit Better have called by, bro. Perfect. Target. Better have called by, bro. Let's go! That was a super poly set. That was a super poly set, bro. God dang, god dang.